hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Pilar for those of you who do not know me I noticed I've never introduced myself so some of you guys are probably watching my videos thinking my name is actually Pilez and it's not my name is Pilar Pilez is just a nickname that my friends call me and it just kind of stuck everyone kind of knows me by that now maybe I should start introducing myself at the beginning of videos Anyways, on today's video, I am going to be doing a Ulta Sephora haul. I did an Instagram poll a couple days back asking you guys which one you guys wanted to see first. Miss Lola and Fashion Nova or Sephora and Ulta. You guys did the clothing one. If you guys haven't seen that video, it will be in the description down below. So let's go ahead. Let's get to it. I bought a lot of stuff. Some of the things I'm actually wearing right now, not everything, but some things I am wearing. So we're gonna start off with Sephora things because I bought less at Sephora only because I like Ulta a lot more because of their point system. And because they also have drugstore makeup and they have like a whole bunch of other things that just makes sense in their store, you know? Let's start off with primer because that's what you do before foundation. I'm actually wearing this right now and I love it. It's making my skin look real good. It's looking real smooth, real soft. It's there, it's grabbing onto all of the product as a primer should. It's the Too Faced Plumpin' Prime. This is what it looks like. The packaging is honestly everything. I usually use the Milk Hydro Grip one. It's like sticky and it makes your foundation stay and I love, love, love that one. But I wanted to just kind of keep my options open, see what else is out there because during summer, you need a really good primer. This is supposed to plump and prime your face. It says it's a fast, firm filling and plumping treatment. This one, 10 out of 10. Phenomenal. Chef's kiss. Next, which I also have on, the lady at Sephora swore by this and I could see why my foundation looks great. Is this foundation from Rare Beauty. If you guys know who Selena Gomez is, this is her makeup line. When I went to Sephora and I was like, I just need a new foundation because sis, I have not switched my foundation out since before quarantine. Sephora girl, she's like, yo, have you heard of Rare Beauty? I was like, who? And then they're like, this is Selena Gomez's line. I was like, oh, okay, sis, pop off. This packaging is so cute. And it's like a concealer like concept. So it's not like a pump or anything. It has a little wand and you just apply it and you know, you do your thing. And I really, really like it. It does not feel cakey. It's super lightweight, don't feel heavy. So I think this is great. I think this is amazing. I don't know if it's for dry skin or not, but it feels really good for dry skin. I got it in shade 19OW. And you want to know the cool thing about Rare Beauty? It already matches the concealer for you. If you're 19OW, 19OW is going to be your concealer shade too. So I don't know if any other makeup line did this, but I know Fenty Beauty did it first. So give credit where it's due because I love that they did that. And then I also contour with concealer. So I got... A concealer in the shade 410N and I think it did a really good job I usually always always mess up with getting darker concealers it looks like someone punched me but I think I did a really good job in this one these were really easy to blend they blended out really nicely hasn't creased right here which I always have trouble with my makeup that it creases right just in this eye i honestly give this foundation and concealer a 10 out of 10 i think it's gonna be my new favorite next thing i got was just this the duo clear lash glue i just stocked up on it stocked up on it because i lost mine actually but this makes me so happy this looks this is a new nice clean one before it gets all like gunky and ugly you guys know what i mean Another thing I got from Sephora was the NARS bronzer. I love NARS packaging. It is so like classy and like sophisticated and matte and just every, I love everything about it. This is the bronzer Laguna. Looks like, I'm dead, all of my mess in the background. This is what this looks like. The lady at Sephora said that this is a good universal bronzer let's see how it works i'm excited to try it out lastly what i got at sephora was the Too faced hangover three in one coconut spray i used to use this all the time all the time all the time 
because like I said, I have dry skin, like super dry skin. And this felt amazing. I used to use this all the time as setting spray or like if when after I would wash my face, my skin was out there popping, glowing, you know, being the best version of itself that it could be. Stopped using it because I started like watching influencers that they would recommend this, this and that. That's it for Sephora. Let's go straight into Ulta. Okay, we're moving on to Ulta. I'm just gonna pull out randomly because everything's just kind of thrown in here. I'm actually wearing this right now too, so that's why it's not in its packaging. The Laura Mercier A Translucent Powder. Let me tell you, when Ulta got this, I was excited because I love shopping at Ulta. Laura Mercier, it's it's like one of the best translucent powders that I've ever used. I have tried the Huda Beauty, I have tried the Cover of X translucent powder, and nothing has topped the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So if you guys know of any translucent powders that are better or dupes it or anything, let me know, especially if it's like a drugstore or affordable, I am down for it. Next thing that I got that I'm also wearing and I absolutely loved is the MAC Give Me Sun. I got this actually because I love that I swears by this and she loves it. So I was like, I want to love it too. This is what it looks like. And it looks amazing on. If you're looking for a good bronzer, this one. This is really, really, really good. Next thing I got is the micellar cleaning micellar is that how you say it i'm really bad at pronunciation garnier micellar cleansing water with vitamin c i wanted to go ahead and try this one to see if it's a little bit better for my skin i do not use makeup remover wipes it was just too harsh on my skin it really burned my skin so i just use micellar water with like a little cotton pad it says it's supposed to brighten and you know give you that extra glow so let's see how this works i also got the cerave hydrating sunscreen it has the 30 spf i had bought the the face one mm -mm. it leaves you so white i you know i'm okay if it leaves white on my body not on my face not on my face so that's why i got the la roche posay i heard that this is a really 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 good one for your face that it's like a water like lotion so it shouldn't leave any whiteness on your face this one has 60 which is great because my skin just wants to burn all the time but some are getting closer and the the sun getting harder i need a stronger spf for those of you who don't know use spf all year round please because your skin will thank you well elf recently came out with a camo cc cream i've been hearing a lot of amazing things about this that it's kind of like the dupe to a cosmetic cc cream but that this one has more coverage and i'm here for coverage it also has spf 30 cc creams are really good because they don't feel heavy they don't feel like you have like foundation on cc creams are supposed to be light definitely excited for this next these concealers that i live by and it's the elf hydrating camo concealers i love these i actually restocked on these because i was running out this 10 out of 10 that i would have me hijo que no tengo Elf is just killing it in the game. Elf is so affordable. Elf is just amazing. They're sponges. I would reach for this over, over any other beauty blender. I will reach for this one instead of this. And this one works wonders. It does not absorb as much product as the other beauty blenders. And I feel like it leaves you with a really nice, beautiful finish. I got the Camel Concealer Sponge. I also saw I Love Sarai using this and she said that it was really, really good. And it's e.l.f. So I was like, let's just go ahead and give this a try. Hopefully it works as good as this, this one because this one knocked it out of the park. Honestly, e.l.f. is coming for every freaking brand. Next thing I got from e.l.f. is their Ultra Precise brow pencil i'm actually wearing it right now i am in love with their their pomade this is way better than anastasia way better than anything i've ever used so i wanted to go ahead and give the brow pencil a shot and i love it it's amazing i don't think it's as good as this but that's just because i like an intense brow last two things from elf is lip balm 
and I got it in Mighty Mint. It's just like clear. I love lip glosses or lip balms that are super, super hydrating. I used to use the Kopari, I don't know if that's how you say it, the lip gloss. And it was so, so hydrating. So hopefully this does the same. And I just got this hydrating coral lip shine. This is so cute. It has like a little heart in the middle with the color around it. So it basically hydrates, the inside is what hydrates put like dark lip line around and then that like right in the middle i think that looked chef's kiss i got two morphe brushes that i already used today so this is the morphe m707 morphe m536 so this i used to put translucent powder underneath my eyes and then this i use for like my primer or my moisturizer like use a brush like this and i'll you know go all over a couple other things i got from morphe is morphe filter effect foundation i got this in medium 12 i'm actually supposed to be a medium 13 but they don't have medium 13 in store it's sold out they only have it online and i was like i want it now it doesn't look too bad but it does have more like rosy undertones i'm a neutral undertone i also got some brow products from morphe if you know me you cannot play with me about my eyebrows i got the dip brow and it's in the color java I also got brow pencils. I used one of the pencils in my last video. I felt like I had to work it in a little bit more than I wanted to. Maybe it's just the color. Maybe I just need a better technique or something else. Last thing I got from Morphe is my holy grail. It's a setting mist, so it's not as like harsh. I literally me baño. I have two other ones, plus this one, plus the sweetie one. Just you can tell once you spray that setting spray on the difference from before and after if you don't have it i recommend going out and buying it and it's great for all skin types and then last thing i actually got which is really really random is foot mask so basically you just put this on your feet start peeling after a while and then they get super super smooth i just thought like i'm wearing sandals a lot lately it's getting hot you got to take care of your skin. You got to take care of your feet. If you're going to be wearing sandals, if you're going to be wearing flip-flops, if you're going to be wearing open-toed, if you're going to be showing off your heels, whatever it may be, take care of your feet. Take care of that skin on your feet. That was it for my video, guys. I know it was a little weird. I tend to be like descriptive at the beginning and then I like try to fly through everything at the end. I will get better at these, I promise promise if there's any products that you guys want me to try out go ahead and let me know or if you guys want like a review on these things go ahead and let me know and i will definitely do that for you guys don't forget to give this video a like comment share subscribe turn on that notification bell so you guys can get notified every time i post and i will see you guys later